we are going to see the final example of reinforcement learning which is a mountain car using deep q learning the objective of this example is the car starts in between two hills the goal is for the car to reach the top of the hill on the right the car does not have enough engine power to reach the top of the hill by just accelerating forward to win the car must build momentum by swinging itself backwards and forwards until it has enough speed to reach the flag so now we will import the required libraries that necessary for this particular scenario we will use numpy and gym is an inbuilt library of python so we are importing the gym and then we import sequential from keras model and we import dense activation flatten from keras layers and then add them from keras optimizer along with that we also import dqn agent from rl agents dqn and eps greedy q policy from rl policy and sequential memory rl from rl rl memory and then we will build the learning agent so the first layer so first we will assign the variable agent to sequential and the first layer here flatten takes the input shape of the environment observation space and flatten it into one dimensional array the input shape argument is set to one concatenated with the shape of the observation space indicating that the model expects input in the form of batch of single observation and the second layer is fully connected that is the second layer dense is fully connected layer with 16 units and the third layer applies the reu lu activation function to the output of the previous layer the fourth layer is another fully connected layer with the number of units set to num num action which is the number of possible actions that the agent can take and the fifth and final layer applies the linear activation function to the output of the previous layer so the input to the model is an observation of the environment and the output is a vector of the predicted q values for each possible action the agent can choose the action with the highest q value as its next action and then we will find the optimal strategy so here it define strategy eps greedy q policy it defines an epsilon greedy exploration policy eps is denoted for epsilon greedy exploration policy which balances between exploiting the current knowledge and exploring new actions and then it can it we are creating a replay memory buffer to store the agent's experience with a capacity of 10000 sample and a window length of 1 and then initializes a dqn agent with a given neural network model number of possible actions replay memory and exploration strategy the argument the argument target model update the nb steps warm up argument sets the number of steps for the agent to take random actions before starting to use its q network to make decisions the target model update argument sets the frequency that is in terms of steps at which the target network is updated with the height weights of the main network 
and then we compile the dqn agent with a specified optimizer adam here adam with a learning rate of 1e minus 2 and evaluation matrix of mean absolute error and then we finally train the dqn agent on the given environment using a experience replay the training process consists of agent taking the action in the environment storing the experience in the replay memory buffer and periodically updating its q network using badges of samples randomly drawn from the replay memory the training continues until convergence or until a specified number of training steps is reached so that's the end of the video thank you